So uh, this is my 2012 Kawasaki Z1000SX. I'm gonna do an oil filter change. Give you a few little tips, because you don't actually have to take the fairings off. And you've got the right tools. So this adjustable, uh, automatically adjustable spanner. Really good, dead easy. And an extension bar. No problems. Trip tray, as you know. And then we have a 17mm spanner. So I can do the sump nut, which is just there on the left hand side. Castor oil, I go for the castor oil power because I find it quite actually quite good to be fair. k and um, oil filter. Got the two of them off eBay from Demon Tweaks. £37.60 I think it was, or £37.70. Uh, good, good, good price for the quality. So, yes, I'm just going to show you now. It's dead simple. All you need to do is access the oil filter and the, which is right there. Some plug right there. But first of all, we need to fire it up. Kick stand up. Just need to get the engine. Engine oil a little bit warmer. So the bike's been running out for a couple of minutes. Engine's warm. Ready to uh Ready to proceed. Just get my gloves on. So there we have it. So some plug just underneath. Just there. Crack that open. One handed it's not advised, but tell what it is. Make sure you get the washer. So I've just done under the 17mm washer. You can see it? 17mm uh, nut. It's now pouring out. Definitely needed a change, that's for sure. Just going to clean my glove up and I'll go for the front. So next, we get our little oil filter spanner. Try and do this now with one hand again. Could do it a pretty good clean in there. Get it on. Get it so well, so it doesn't do that for one. Sorry about the camera angle, boys, it's the girls. to try and wedge this somewhere. So, now we need to get that off. So get a little spanner and uh, hope for the best because doing it one-handed is near impossible. I'm going to try and, I don't know, jam the camera somewhere that you can see. really I don't think you'll be able to see if I put it in here well then again hang on right, I just want to leave that there for a second It. 
got it off, well, hand tight. And we'll just undo it a little bit so that also starts to drain out. burning your hand on your exhaust, that's a problem. So I'll let all the oil drain out completely. Then we stick our new oil filter on. So the new filter I'm using is a K&N performance filter. Same as performance, I think the only difference really is that uh, a nut on the top of it to allow you to uh, take it off with just a uh, socket. But you see that the bottom is actually sealed up. Uh, the the ring itself is already oiled. So get rid of that. And all I do is even though it's already oiled, so just run a bit of old engine oil around it. Just need to locate it and screw it on. Put that down a second. So that's on. All you do with that is just make sure it's just hand tight. Don't over tight them, it's just hand tight. And some plug still sort of draining out slightly, but uh, when you get your sump plug, make sure that you put a new washer on it. Nice clean washer. Get it into focus there. And it just screws in, but it allowed all the oil to come out. Now there's literally just drips coming out of this now, so go ahead and we'll put the nut back in. Again, try and do it, two hands. And we'll tighten all that up then before we put the oil in. So everything's tightened up, come around the other side, open up the oil filler, remember you've got your little window there, nice little funnel, put your oil in and we we'll check it afterwards. So as you can see the oil is pretty much at its maximum limit, just need to be careful of one thing, even though you might put it wherever, nicely in between them two lines is perfect. If you put it a little bit on the lower side, when you fire the engine up for the first time, it's gonna fill the oil filter as well. So you're gonna lose a little bit of a height on that. So if you have it there, just fire up, let it run for a minute or two, let it settle and then take another mead reading. So the engine's now running. You can see the oil pretty much disappeared out of the window. That's now circulating the engine, getting into the oil filter. Just leave that for about two minutes running and then leave it to settle for a couple more minutes. And then we check it again. There we have it. Engine run, level dropped, topped back up and it's now absolutely bang on, perfect. So there it is. 
Easy as that. A little recap. 17mm spanner. For some plug. New washer, not on there. An adjustable oil filter spanner. Dead easy to get to. No need to take your fairing off at all. Drop the oil. The dirty oil. Put everything back on. Hand tight with your oil filter. Nice and tight, but hand tight. Don't put it on with a spanner. And then, obviously, torque up your sump nut to the right setting, which I will do very, very shortly. Topped it up. Lovely new oil. Don't you just love lovely new oil? So there we have it, guys. Quick and easy guide. Change the oil on your Z1000 SX.